what's up y'all i decided to do a live video of myself on here look i'm at the crossroads one of my favorite places to be because there's always something available for you if you if you petition the right spirits um earlier on facebook i posted a couple stats more than a couple because i had to go off real quick i had to post a couple stats saying i'm not doing anything else for free and let me explain that and i mean normally i'm in an attitudinal space normally i'm mad hype about shit but i've been in a very very zen space here lately it's been about a week um it started last Saturday when I did the money spell with Oshun. And just so you all know, Oshun is my mother. So I am a representative of Oshun and I am a daughter of Oshun. Anyway, um, last Saturday I did this mass prosperity spell. And ever since I've done that spell, I've been like in this real zen space, this real calm space. And it's probably because people are letting me know that their prosperity is coming to them there is even people even i i, I know y'all don't think much of getting like a few dollars here and there but there are people that are receiving from that prosperity spell and i'm not sure if it's because i'm proud of my spiritual hands <laughs> for making things happen for people or if Mama Oshun is just making me be calm for now, I know that um, she will come in and she will make you sweeter. I also put myself in that prosperity spell. And with that prosperity spell, what happened was, y'all, some of y'all were putting a honey in honey with the prosperity spell, along with ripped up dollar bills and five dollar bills and whatever have you that I used. It's a shame I'm out of breath. I need to stop smoking. <laughs> but anyway, and I think that the honey may have been just sweetening me to myself. So I'm feeling a little bit more calm. And it also could be because the weather has changed here in St. Louis and it's not as viciously cold. I maintain that I am a summer bunny, a summer bunny. I, um, I'm born in August, August 2nd. I love the summertime. I love when it is blazing hot outside. I love when the sun coats my skin and darkens my skin. I like the summer. So the fact that it's been nice in St. Louis, finally, it's probably put me in a greater, spa, a, a more calm, a more loving space. But with that being said, I'll get back to the subject matter. Um, last Saturday, like I said, I did a mass pos prosperity spell. And I'm showing, people are showing me results. People are getting results from their spell. Um, and it makes me feel good as a witch. Like, come on now. You know you feel good when you see your prosperity spells or you see your works coming to fruition. I love it. I really, really like when my, um, light works come through and they um show prosperous things because my dark works happen immediately that's not shit to me i can drop your ass in a bucket or whatever and you're done i that it doesn't even impress me anymore my dark works because i know that because i am an iami Aje, my ajays are gonna go for me regardless so it's not impressive to me anymore to see something bad happened to somebody because I knew it's gonna happen anyway I did the um prosperity spells and it, it feels good you know not that my prosperity spells never work but sometimes they drag out and take a long process like um a lot of the love spells that I'm doing it's taking these women a long time to get what they want it's because I gotta go through a lot of fixing I gotta help them love themselves so it's like a process but this money spell this prosperity spell it start working immediately so i've been feeling very 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 happy um i like to see others win 
I like to see other people eat. I like to help people. And that is a caveat of my character. Um, I know y'all don't think so, but most Leos are like this. I am a Leo. We like to help people. You know, you get the right Leo around you. And we'll, 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 we'll go for you, honey. We'll, we'll put on for you heavy. We'll help you. But here's the downside of that. After I did the prosperity spell, my ancestors came to me and they were like, you know, Stella, um, if y'all didn't know, my name is Stella. Not Bruja Africana, but that's just my, my monogram. That, that, not monogram. Damn, I said monogram. That's just my uh, moniker. That's my moniker. It's not a monogram, but maybe this universe telling me that I need to get it monogrammed on something. I probably will because I'm extra like that. Again, I am a Leo. <laughs> but my ancestors, speaking of them, they were like, well, Stella, you receive a lot. You, um, I give a lot. I don't, I'm not one of those people that only have to receive. I give a lot. Um, they were like, well, you've been receiving heavy, heavy. They've been heavy on the motherfucking prosperity and the motherfucking gifts given and the motherfucking blessings for me. Like my ancestors come through and put on for me. My spirit guides come through and put on for me. Mama Oshun comes through and opened her purse for her daughter, honey. She gets busy. Papa Ogun, he comes through. I'm sorry, I'm a, I'm a child of Ogun, too. Papa Ogun come through and move shit so that his daughter can come through. So I don't have any issues. So they were like, well, why don't you just do stuff for free for people this week? And I don't have a problem because I don't. I ain't hurting for no bread. But my whole issue with even accepting that assignment was, Mama, what if these people take advantage of me? She said, don't worry, I got you. Okay, so all week I've been doing free tarot readings. I've been doing free spiritual coaching. I've been doing free life coaching. I've been doing giving away free help. And like I said in one of my posts, and if you don't follow me on Facebook, my name is Bruja Africana on Facebook. Um, I do have a professional business page. It is the Stella B page. You can follow me on either page. I don't care. You can request me as a friend on my Bruja Africana page. I don't care. Just keep it cute when you get there because I'll squash you quickly if you come to my page disrespectfully anyway it's like people people here are free and y'all lose y'all motherfucking minds y'all y'all take advantage of people you start taking advantage of people's spiritual gifts and you start treating people fuck up and you start calling every day and i'm just saying this is what's happening to me now i mean and i'm telling you i love the shit out of y'all but God damn it, you're going to stop today. I'm talking about people. People been calling me with shit like, oh, I woke up today five minutes before my alarm went off. Is the ancestors trying to tell me some bitch he telling you to get up? The fuck? Like, y'all lose y'all ever-loving mind when it comes to spirituality, and it ain't that deep. It's deep, but it ain't that deep. You know, this girl like, oh. I saw a snail on my porch, and it's been cold. Does that mean something? Bitch, it means that it's spring. It means spring is coming. Like, yo, I have, I have not, I love y'all, and I love helping y'all, but y'all and wore me low. Look, <laughs> y'all ass, you know goddamn well it's, it, it's getting warmer outside. Why would the snail on your fucking porch mean something? <laughs> so today... My ancestors came to me, and one specific ancestor that is always with me is my little brother Lawrence. Um, he he was murdered almost twenty years ago, and he uh, he comes to me a lot. He uh, he's the lead in charge behind it. He's the lead person behind it, and he came to me this week, and he was like, "You know what, sis? 
He didn't say sis, but I'm just saying sis. He's like, you know what, sis? Ain't no more free shit. I have been tired, drained, you know, and that, that's part of that's part of being a spiritual worker. You're going to be tired. But my little brother came to me like, look here. Get your money today, sis. Okay, get your money for the next four months. This is just how much heavy shit that I've done. And I'm talking about, y'all, I was doing dark work for people for free this week. And I'm talking about some heavy shit. So when I tell you that I'm a witch, baby, I get down. There is no limitation to the things that I will do. I choose wisely when I do things, but no, I'm going to get busy, baby, every fucking time. So he was like, stop doing that free shit this week. This week, you, this week and for the next 120 days, you can't do nothing free. And I was like, at first I was like, well, people going to think that I'm da-da-da. He's like, you don't give a fuck no way what people think. And he was right. I absolutely don't care what people think. But I care that people need help. But then he brought it to me like, who's caring that you need some help? Who's caring that you're going through a period of feeling drained? Who is, who is giving back to you? So the point is, spiritual people make sure that y'all are getting there's somebody pouring into you it's not that i needed any bread no shit like that what my brother was saying to me is that i need to make sure that i'm receiving the same love that i'm putting out there and it's not that they weren't the people that i've done free shit for weren't but it's more like i need to make sure that i'm receiving what i'm giving out so the point of this video is, when a spiritual person charges you, there is a reason for it. Y'all don't understand. Y'all just looking at it like it's just the money and, oh, they should do it for free. Absolutely not. Our ancestors need to be paid. And if we're moving for you, we ain't going to reach in our motherfucking pocket and pay for your shit for you. And expect our ancestors to put on for you because our ancestors will not put on for you. They'll do it for us. That's what will happen. I keep telling y'all about these exchanges of energy. You need to pay for the shit that you want. Yeah, sometimes you can get something free, but when your aunt when the person's ancestors come forward and tell them you done doing free shit, that's what it is. It's a wrap. I mean, I love y'all. love you dearly. But, hey, you, look, pay for your spiritual, pay your, pay your spiritual person, okay? That's all I'm saying. Don't be one of these people taken from people because you drain people and you deplete people and it becomes a burden. It becomes a ten of staffs for them to even be spiritually led. So just pay your spiritual people. If you ain't subscribed yet, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, Bruja County, if you need the name, just look forward to more shit like this because I'm enjoying this. And if you don't like what I'm talking about, fuck me. I don't care.